Welcome to howtocookgreatfood.com. Hello, today we're going to be making a steak and kidney pie. Um, some of our ingredients, apart from the pastry, are on the table at the moment, and they are some uh, chopped kidneys, so what they're beef kidneys, some nice lean chopped beef cubes, I've got a small amount of chopped carrot, a small amount of chopped potatoes, I've got some bay leaves, salt, dried thyme, chopped mushrooms, onions, English mustard and a glass or a small glass of bitter. So let's make the uh, inside of the pie first and then we'll get onto the pastry. Okay, so I've got a pan here with a touch of oil in, like a centimetre or so. And some people use a suet or they use some, some lard. I'm just going for a straight oil. I'm going to put my onions in. And I've got some thyme, salt and a few bay leaves, so the bay leaves can go in and the salt and the thyme. And we'll just mix those together. I'm going to add some pepper, but we'll do that later on. Now what I'm going to do is get our beef in there. As you can see, that's been cut in fairly large pieces. Not too large, but fairly large. So all we need to do now is uh, keep the heat down low. And I'm going to cover this. And we'll come back in about five minutes and take a look and see how she's doing. Okay, so we're back after five minutes. As you can see, the beef has changed colour completely. And this is still a long way from being done. Now we're going to add our kidney. They can go straight in there. Some people use a 50-50 mix. I, I don't. I use a 75-25 beef, beef to kidney. So they're looking quite good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these vegetables, just a little bit of uh, carrot, there's a big one there, a um, little bit of carrot and a uh, chopped potato. These will cook down to nothing, they'll actually disappear in the, in, in the pie once it's ready, but we'll have to thicken it up. We may add a little bit of flour as well, we'll see may not be necessary but we'll have a look. Alright so look what we're going to do now is get the lid back on, let's give it another five minutes and I'll be back. Okay so we've been away for a little while now, as you can see this is looking very nicely. Those vegetables have kind of pretty much broken down. Now I'm going to add the, the mushrooms, again it looks like quite a lot of mushrooms but they'll cook down to nothing, there's a, they hold a lot of uh, water, they'll release a lot of that. So we're just going to stir these in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some English mustard. Um, quite a lot of this. This is, is that two heaps teaspoons. Now it has to be English mustard. I mean it's a uh, there's, there's nothing quite like English mustard, it's very strong, it's got a very distinctive flavour and of course this is a very English dish, so now I'll wind up a little um, thing to add and that is I've got here some some beer, some bitter, so that will go in there so lid on again and I'll be back in just like five minutes to see that Okay, so here we go, let's have a look at this. That's looking lovely. I'm quite happy with this because it's got the, uh, the real sort of mustard flavour. It's 
going to be quite strong with that flavour of that mustard, by the way, which is exactly how I like it. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. I'm going to add a little touch of salt. Just a little bit here, just to finish it off. And I just fancy this right now. I'm just going to put some, uh, a little bit of Liam Perrins in there. And just a touch of Tabasco. I didn't show you these at the start because uh, I didn't think I was going to put them in, but I think I just fancy it. So yeah, I'll just put a little splash in there. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. So this pie filling is ready. This beef is really nice and tender. The kidneys are cooked in really nicely. And um, that's it, it's ready, absolutely ready. I'm gonna turn that off and now we'll get on to the, uh, the pastry. Okay, so the pie filling is done. But now I've gotta get the uh, actual pie sorted out. So look, I've got a decent sized tray here. I'm just gonna put some oil in there. This is just to stop it sticking. You don't need too much. Just sort of cover it around. So I'm putting some on the edge as well. Right now, I've already rolled some flour out, some shortcuts cut pastry here. If you um, don't know how to make this, then just see one of our other videos. Um, explain all. So we're going to literally pop this in. Now. And just fold her in so she touches the bottom and the sides. Making this pastry fairly thick as well, you know. I want a kind of nice base on it. Plus the uh, the sauce is quite wet. All right, so we're okay there. So just press her in like that. And then again, I'm gonna just cut around the edge and leaving quite a lot of overlap because the pastry will shrink, um, and I want it to be able to join the top. So, this is the first trim, and then we'll do the final trim shortly. Alright, so there she goes. So, I'll run fast for a little last press in there just to get this happening. Make sure she's all nice and tight. Okay, then we're just going to get our filling in there, which is cooled down. This has cooled down a lot now. So we're going to fill it right up. Got the bay leaves knocking around. You can take them out. I want those in there. Pie slice when they get it. So there we are. That's our filling. Let's just smooth that out. Okay, so I'm just going to roll the uh, pastry for the top, so I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so done that for the top, just found another baby there, like I said, we don't want them in there. Um, let's just get our pastry top on, I've just rolled that out. Now, there's excess pastry here, don't worry, because we're going to cover the top with a lot of this. So just again, press down, and then we're going to uh, just take this edge off. Again, overlap quite a lot. At this stage, it's all a bit of a mess, but you'll see in a moment how she comes out. So I've also, I've got a hole in the top here, which I've deliberately done, because I just want you to see how to overcome anything like that, because it happens quite often. Um, we're actually gonna lattice this somewhat. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm just pressing in and joining the two pastries together around the edge. We'll do a final trim in a moment. So we've got some spare pastry here, as you can see. So if we cut a strip into a square, or a rectangle in this case, and let's just cut some strips off here. I mean, these are fairly chunky size ones. And then what we're gonna do start by laying these across in a 
patchwork kind of fashion. And do some more of those. And you'll be able to see that this uh, will make a great effect at the end. So, here we go. And you can make any design you want, I presume. It's uh, up to you entirely. I'm just going for these long strips, like so. Okay, there's uh, one more little one over there just for my uh, artwork, shall we say. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to trim this a bit nicer now. I've trimmed it together. So we're just going to take off this excess stuff here. We won't worry about it too much, it actually, it actually makes a nice effect on the pie. It makes it look very sort of very homemade indeed. As opposed to those ones you get in the shots, which are very uniform. Okay, so that's done. There's a few little straggly bits here and there. Now simply what I'm going to do is I've got a beaten egg here, and all we're going to do is just brush this on. This will give the uh, the top a really nice glaze. And it seals all these, it's like a glue for these uh, little pieces of lattice type things we've put on. So, that my friends is it. Now we're going to put this in the oven. Now I'm not going to tell you gas mark this, gas mark that, Fahrenheit this, because everyone's ovens seem to be completely different. What you want is just to go in the middle of your oven at your middle temperature. You want a kind of medium temperature. And we're going to put this in for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Just keep an eye on it and uh, you, you, you'll soon see if it's done just, just by the pastry. The, um, the filling is obviously already cooked so don't worry about anything in there cooking. It's just getting the pastry correct. Remember there's pastry inside so we don't, we don't want that to be um, soggy. That has to be cooked as well, so I reckon a minimum of 30 minutes. So let's go to the oven and then I'll see you when she comes out. Okay, so this pie's been in for about 45 minutes. You might need to do it longer. I've got a very powerful fan assisted oven, so you might need to do it a bit longer than that. So, But what I'll do, let it cool down a little bit, then we're gonna slice it up for you. to cook great food .com. don't forget to subscribe to our channel